What does wearing the poppy mean to you? Uh, it's about remembrance. It's about uh, sacrifice. For me, uh, on Sunday when I'm at the Cenotaph, I will be remembering all those who gave their lives not just in the First and Second World War, but my friends who've died since, my friends who I died alongside, and those who still need our help. People might be surprised to hear that since the end of the Second World War, there's only been one year when a British serviceman or woman has not been killed in action. Yeah. So it's not just about those two wars, it is about all of us who have fought, those who are left behind that need our care and uh, our, our remembrance and our acknowledgement of a sacrifice. Yeah. So, Adam, what's your opposition to that? Um, well, I think that uh, remembrance is, of course, something that we should all take very seriously. Um, I do mark the occasion um, in my own way. Um, but my problem, I think, is, is more with what the uh, British Legion is actually um, doing, the narrative that it's pushing, um, and some of the issues that arise from where they get some of their funding and that kind of thing. In what way? Um, well, for example, they accept funding and sponsorship from a number of different arms companies. Um, and in 2012, um, their president was uh, forced to resign because he was taped saying that he could actually lobby uh, on behalf, behalf of arms companies. So um, I do think that, uh, you know, whilst I, I respect the idea of remembrance, and I'm not looking to disrespect no, anyone, I um, actually I think there are issues in the way that we actually do that. And so does the, are you saying that the, the, the red poppy, I mean you are wearing a poppy, you're wearing mm -hmm. a white poppy, that the, the red of the poppy is, is glorifying war rather than the, the colour of it reflecting the, the, the horror? Is it, uh, is it the colour of it or is it the fact that it's the British Legion? No, it's not the colour of it. I mean, if, if the British Legion um, wasn't involved in, in some of these other uh, problematic areas, then I would happily wear the poppy. I think it's important um, and I think that some of the work that they do is actually very, very good. Um, but I think because of all of these other issues... That's um, why you, you can't go to the right. So the white poppy that you're mm -hmm. wearing, what does that say? I mean, it says peace in the middle, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's away, quite yeah. clear really, really what that means. <laughs> It's still a poppy. Does, do you find that mildly offensive to, to, to I, the red I, poppy? I would fight to the death, and I don't mean that flippantly, for Adam and the others to wear their white poppies. That's what we do in the military. Yeah. We want people to be free to do what they want. We want people... I don't want people to be forced to wear a poppy. I don't want people to be criticised if they don't wear a poppy. Mm. I'm unsure what Adam means about problems with the Royal British Legion. I've worked with them for 25 years now, and I must confess, uh, I, I think we need to be careful about making accusations well, like no, that. Well, no, no. <laughs> in 2012, the president of the company, who was uh, Lieutenant General... Legion. Yeah, Sir, Sir John Kisley yes. was yep. caught boasting about yep. his ability to help secure lucrative contracts for armed firms, okay. and that was uncovered by the Sunday Times. But, but my point about it is that even if there are problems within an organisation, the British Legion still is looking after veterans. And I don't think because of one incident or one problem or one factor, you can then say that the millions of veterans that the, the, the Legion looks after, the tens of thousands of yeah. the injured, the families who are left behind, I really don't think that you can conflate uh, an anti-arms stance, which you're free to have with criticising what the Legion does. So I think you need to be very careful about that. If, if we look at the look at the figures, a third of Brits uh, under the age of 25 could refuse to wear the poppy uh, because they feel it glorifies war. 11% mm. uh, of the country won't wear poppies as part of the appeal, the appeal which raises 43 million each year. Uh, uh, do you think that those young people who are refusing to wear it because it glorifies war are doing it for the same reasons that you are, because you have uh, issues with some of the structure of the British Legion, or or it's the fact that it just reminds them of bad things? Uh, I, th I think that there are... I mean, there are other reasons that I um, do this as well, but um, I think, broadly speaking, most young people uh, want to remember. Um, they take this as, as seriously as anyone. Um, but I think it's, it is things like the, the arms trade, um, like this, this issue with the former president, um, that, that makes them start to reconsider that. Mm. But, but, but it, it, because one person makes a mistake and, mm. and resigns because yeah. of it, yeah. uh, bearing in mind, as I said, there's £43 million raised here for mm. ex-servicemen yeah. and women yeah. and current, uh, so, uh, so sh sh should they be punished because of his mistake? No, and, and as I said before, um, you know, if it wasn't for all of these things, um, I would happily wear the poppy, but I think we have to take into consideration the broader narrative that this plays into. Um, so, for example, there was, um, uh, as one of many examples, um, a photo that appeared on the Royal British Legion website that had um, children campaigning for the poppy appeal with T-shirts on it saying, Future Soldier. 
And, but, and but, I think but, that's a problem. What, what, but what is wrong with that? I mean, lots of young men and women want to join the military. Again, I think that you need to be... You, 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 you are absolutely entitled to the point of view, but you can't criticise a young person for wanting in to the emulate way, their forefathers. My son forefathers. wears a T-shirt with a fire engine on you it know, because he wants to be a fireman at the moment. Well, I, I, think, I think the issue is actually that we... There's, there's a, a narrative that is being pushed in society. Mm. I understand that some people mm. uh, may choose to become soldiers, mm. but, but the, there's, the there's, problem is that we have... There's not a narrative that glorifies that. I mean, you know, if you, you come, come with me on Sunday to the Cenotaph, you will find nobody who glorifies war. If you look back at the uh, origins of the red poppy, in Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. We are the dead. That's not glorifying war. Mm. That is celebrating sacrifice and comradeship.